Okay, so I keep disconnecting for some reason. So this is like my third attempt on making this video. So let's start it over. Let's do it fast. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, my name this is Courtney from Jeans Incorporated, and I went to my local tool shop, which is called Harbor Freight, and I picked up three things. I picked up a utility knife, I picked up a metallic bowl, and I picked up a slingshot. The the utility knife and the metallic bowl were both free with coupons, and the slingshot only cost about five ninety nine. The Harbor Freight shop, I'm not sure if you have it in your state or wherever you live, but I know for sure that I have it, and they have tools from wheels to uh electrical wiring and a cup and they actually have some uh, toys like RC helicopters and stuff like that which is pretty pretty sick um so just wanted to give a review this is one of the sharpest knives that I've ever picked up especially since it was for free um and you'll be surprised that it came in this packaging just like some raggedy old packaging it's a Gordon knife and has two blades I've yet to find a second one but uh yeah and it's really this is one of the sharpest things I've ever I've ever owned, um, and it really comes in handy for unboxing. My slingshot is a daisy slingshot. Uh, I shoot um, these little BB pellets, and I have more than this because my brother owns a, some BB guns, and I go with those are the ones that I use for on the go. And I don't like to use the real metal and glass ones because I do not want to injure anything. And this is not an actual toy. This is a real deal slingshot, and can I see? Enter someone. So that's why I like to be careful, be safe with it. But I think it's so epic. I was a little disappointed when it didn't come with the forearm brace. A lot of uh, slingshots come like it's like this metal brace thing, and you put your hand through it, and like rests on your forearm, and it like locks onto your forearm, and so it makes your stop your shot a lot steadier and easier. And I thought that would have been even more cool. And you can see it in the picture on the back of the box that the man has it on his arm. And I was really hoping for that, and which is disappointing, but I guess I'll just learn how to use this one, and then I'll work my way up to a more advanced slingshot. And then I have the metal tray, which hold, which comes in super handy. It holds a lot of my parts. Uh, I always take a lot of stuff apart. As you can see, you see wires, you see LEDs, um, you see here's a motor, uh, very small one. Here's a rechargeable battery pack. Uh, I just take a lot of things apart. Here's some battery connectors. I take a lot of things apart and I like to make stuff and recreate stuff because as an engineer, which I am preparing to be, I want to make the world a better place. I want to have more advanced things in the world. And so I'm trying to start at a young age and be the best I can be. It also work, works really well for holding screws, holding anything. Like if you take some apart, works well for modding Nerf guns. I know you have to take the Nerf gun apart and you don't want to lose any of those parts so you can get a metal tray, which would be very nice, very handy. So in conclusion, guys, that's what I got from my local tool store. And I hope it inspires you to go check out your local tool store and you can... Uh, buy different little uh, tools and different little products and you can make whatever you want because they have so many different things there and you can just what what you can create is limitless and they are actually very cheap surprisingly they are very cheap at my local store so hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to get your creativity on and see what you can see and invent what you can invent because the world is needs inventors the world needs engineers and I'm not promoting it I'm just uh, I want to be an engineer and I don't know anyone at my school who's trying to do the same so I don't want to I want and, and engineers make a lot of money engineers are needed and if you want me to talk more about engineering uh, just let me know down in the comments below but thank you guys for watching this is James Incorporated signing off